la 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 一番最初に死の絶望と戦う義務がある。そこで、敗北を認めてしまったらどうなる義務を果たすためには、人の死、時間を取ってしまう。Okay. Alright, sorry about that, guys. Basically, we had a... Okay. Once again, sorry about that, guys. We had a massive clusterfuck in which my microphone was、uh, accidentally、uh, disconnected from the computer. So basically, I had to kind of go back in and kind of, you know, basically、um, redo some stuff. But, you know, we're, we're caught back up. So, no worries. Basically, the guy was nearing the end of his speech and it was a very, very long monologue. <laughs> Kudos to that voice actor for doing all that because that, that just sounds actually amazing. You know, I like his voice. It's really soothing. So, right now we're back at the gym, so let's continue on, shall we? a r r o w a y murmurs to herself as she lines up gold pieces on the gym's smooth floor. Tasaki san tilts her head in wonder. So, what do you think about this? t e n o m o r o s a n answers, so Sasaki san sits in front of Arroway and asks. Arroway chan, <laughs> ima utat t e r u no, nan te u t a It's called Bitch Better Have My Money by Riri. <laughs> Arroway doesn't answer and returns to her task. <laughs> Sasaki san scratches her head with her fingertips and returns to her original position. <laughs> Kawasi san is leaning against Arrow's back in one hand. It's a manju, and in the other, it's a comic book. Tanamura san smiles while staring up at the ceiling. An unfamiliar ceiling, just like an Evangelion. After dinner, the people at the shelter relax and do whatever they feel like. There are students listening to music using headphones, old people reading books, and kids gathering around a portable gaming device. Tenomura san was lying around saying that he ate too much, but he was invited by other young guys and went to play mahjong. Kawagata san is always by the generator, so he's not here. I have nothing to do, so I'm resting in the gym with Sasaki san and Kawase san. And this music is getting on my nerves, goddamn. <laughs> Kawasi san has finished reading her comic book. So she's looking at. No, no, no let's, not, let's not upgrade that. Kawasi san has finished reading her graphic novel. So she's looking at me now. I hand her the, I hand her the hand grip. She awkwardly squeezes it a few times. <laughs> Say, why am I thinking dirty thoughts at that? <laughs> I heard her the hand grip. She awkwardly squeezes it a few times. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you like that, don't you, Amako? <laughs> you like it when women squeeze your、uh, hand grip. <laughs> Just like Sasaki san. He's like, here, hold it like this. <laughs> like, yeah, I'm still gonna talk about for that. <laughs> And then a few hours later, he's like, Well, I don't really like masturbating. And I called him out on his bullshit. <laughs> She's like, I'm done. She frowns and stops. <laughs> no, it's for grip strength, man. Come on. It's for grip strength, man. Kawasi san stares at, her, at the hand grip. She takes Aoi's hand and makes her hold onto it. a 
Aoi looks at it in wonder. Kawasi-san puts her hand over Aoi's hand and moves it. Kawasi-san lets go, and the hand grip falls to the ground. Aoi continues lining up the gold pieces as if nothing had happened. Kawasi-san picks it up and gives it back to me. <laughs> really? There's a reason Amako's doing it. Oh yeah, is it for uh, Oh! Wait, she's like, I don't understand why. It's because of his finger technique. <laughs> so he can get you off faster. Because you know in those really stressful situations in which you need to relieve some stress really fast. You know, fast fingers or nimble fingers are really helpful. Especially when she gets like super wet. <laughs> but I like before, you know, a gentleman never a gentleman never tells. Sasaki san is looking at the code pieces are always lined up. The hell are code pieces? The gold pieces in front of Aoi are making three straight lines. She's starting on her fourth line now. She's placing them with clumsy hands. But the pieces are placed equal distances from each other. As if they were measured out. The lines are straight without any distortion. It looks like a machine lined them up. Aoi smiles happily from time to time. Kawazi-san thanks for a bit.同じ Kwasi-san ponders. Kwasi-san Kawasi-san stares at the ceiling for a while, then starts talking. まず第一に決まったマグカップでしか飲まないでしょ。そういえばそうね。あのマグカップ。第二に必ずブラックで。ミルクなんかを入れてしまうと飲まない。でもそれは味の好みじゃないんですか。そうかもしれないけど、牛乳は普通に飲むのよね。甘いものも食べるし。まあ、それは置いておくとして、第3。いつも決まった時間にしかコーヒーを飲まない。ミニスンチュマンのミュージック。ちょっと。ちょっと。
寝る前のルールなんじゃないのアロエってご飯食べる順番とか服を着る順番なんかも同じ手順を絶対崩さないしそこで思ったんだけどねうんもしかしたら眠くなったらあのマグカップでブラックのコーヒーを飲んでから寝なくちゃいけないって決めてるんじゃないかな So,、uh, where is this leading? So, no, no, no. Are we about to have a re revelation about something here? Is it about to be like groundbreaking? Like、uh, breaking the fourth wall or something like earth shattering? Was she the cause of the earthquake? All the natural disasters? It was all her fault? Nah, nah, nah. It can't be. Then again, does she have white hair? No, I don't think she does. Does she? I can't remember. Does she have white hair? I know there's a rule in Japanese anime and manga where, like, if a character has white hair, they're, like, really, like, spiritual or they're kind of, you know, celestial in a way. So, is there something up with her or her way? Is she one of the special people? That's why I'm going to go to the coffee and I'm going to go to the c o f f e きっと好きってわけじゃないんだよもしそうだとしたら私の見る限りアロエの興味って規則とか反復するものだけだよそれがもし全部病気のせいだっていうならあんまり人間っぽい趣味ってこの子にないよね I don't like where this conversation is going <laughs> It's like so what are you saying we have to kill her oh wait We're not there yet. Sorry. <coughs> yeah, if you guys have anything. Yeah, I think it's turning into Metagross Solid. <laughs> Or an episode from Metagross Solid. Um, I don't know how to say it, but I don't know how to say it. I don't know how to say it, but I don't それは別に楽しいからしてるんじゃないんでしょそれは非人間的だよね。No, right now you kind of remind me of that woman from Parasite the Maxim, in which she like, kind of like sense other beings. And because she could sense other beings, she thought she could actually track where and when this one guy she was really interested in would show up and, you know, kind of. You know, just bump into him kind of by accident, but then one night her signals got mixed up and she ended up in a place where she shouldn't have been. And because of it, she died. Stabbed right through the chest. But the guy was there too. He actually saw her get stabbed and he was like, no!、Nah! Well, he wasn't like, no. He was like, Uh, well, this is gonna, well, actually, Miki was like, well, that couldn't have been avoided because basically this was gonna happen all along. Basically, she was just fulfilling her destiny and、uh, she ended up dead for it. She was kind of good looking, too. Damn. <laughs> so, even a few minutes after death, your body's still warm, so、uh, I still hit it. Then again, the cops might find. Certain fluids in her body and be like, yo, you're the killer. <laughs> so it would kind of complicate things. So, nah, it's best to kind of keep your、uh, thing out of dead bodies, especially at a crime scene, unless you're going to bury the body somewhere. Then again, yeah, that didn't really work out for、uh, the Riddler and Gotham. And、uh, right now he's kind of in、uh, jail. <laughs> so, <clears throat> yeah. Oh, not at all. Not at all. 自発的に選んでるんじゃなくて選ばされてるっていうかやらされてるっていうかうんクワシさんクロスするアームスもしそうだとして病気のせいでやらされてることがあの絵にとって唯一の楽しみになっちゃってて。他の楽しいことを何も知らないんだとしたらなんかそれはかわいそうだよね。Wait a minute, you actually feel sorry for somebody? <laughs> I didn't think you were capable of that. <laughs> yeah. 
I mean, you have the Asuka, Langley, Soryu personality, so basically you're supposed to be like the hot head of the group. でもそれは特別なことではないんじゃないですかやりたくもないことばかりして生活してる人もいるでしょうでもやっぱりこんなのやだよ他にも何かあったっていいじゃんだってこれじゃ病気だけが洗えの全部みたいじゃんまあ、
So hey, those uh, dating sim creators have really vivid imaginations when it comes to uh, bedroom play. <laughs> Sasaki san glances at me, but quickly looks away when our eyes meet. Okay, lady, I'm not signing up for a three way with uh, Hibari because uh, that, that's, that would be weird. <laughs> It's like, anyway, you, you're, you're, you're fine, but, uh, Hibari is a no, 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 <laughs> no, no, no. I mean, if Sinji would, he could, and he technically did with Asuka, but, you know, that was, that was under different circumstances, and that was in a really fucked up circumstance, actually, but, you know, that's, that's Evangelion. It's a really fucked up anime sometimes. <laughs> They just are really dark shit. <laughs> anime. You want that D? <laughs> she wants that vitamin D in her life. What? No, you stop it. Kawasi-san sighs in astonishment and shuts her mouth. Sasaki-san is watching her in wonder. Arroway places a gold piece on the floor. The piece, is, piece makes a nice sound as she laughs. End scene. I'm eventually called by a student in the administration department and head to the canopy in the schoolyard. The people of the administrative department are sitting around the fire. Kuwagata-san and Tanamura-san are already there, taking part in the conversation. Ah, Tanamura-kun te, ano seibukan no Tanamura-san na no? Uh... I'm guessing there's a lot of Tanamoras around, so, uh, <laughs> you have to be a tad bit specific. It's like asking John Lee if he's, like, related to someone named Lee in China, and it's like, you, do you do you actually know how many Lees there are in China? <laughs> it's like, don't be a moron. I need a first name. Hide-san. Oh, Hida? Hida-san sounds surprised. So this yo. Okay. Maybe he's sort of fine. Maybe he's sort of famous. Ooh, that'd be a good title. The hell is that? Oh, yeah, that's the uh, after school thing. Okay. Tanamorosan nods. Say, I'm trying to multitask here. Let's see. Maybe. He's. Sort of famous. Are you a Boro to you in Janakte? Let's hear the dojo to you in Janaka. Sorry, Tanomura san, a deep pana bujuska that I own. So no musco sanga, so naka coste de inokai. Hida. Hida san's looking at Tanamura san's golden hair. Tanamura san touches his own hair. <laughs> okay, yeah, whatever. <laughs> so, this slacking student who has huge potential but does nothing with it. Yeah, okay, that sounds like Tanamura. <laughs> でも、家で練習をしていたんだろ。強いんだろうな。今度暇な時、俺と試合してくれないか。俺は一応選手だったんだが、最近黙ってしまってね。Oh shit. Is that a challenge for leadership I hear? I mean, if Tanamura beats this guy, will he become the leader of the group? An even bigger group. 
<laughs> Probably not. Then again, why is he challenging Tanamora? I mean, is it a spar, you know, like a friendly spar session, or is it something more sinister behind it? Is he testing Tanamora's strength since he's kind of like the strongest person here in our group? I'm on you, man. I know what you're doing, and I don't like it. I got a pocket full of rocks, and I will knock your ass out. ひださんって自衛隊出身ですよね。そこで選手ってな。警視庁とか自衛隊の人は真剣度が違うから怖いな。いや、警視庁の人と比べられたらちょっと困るけどね。ひだ、スクラッチしてセレレンバーシメント
Oh, you think I'm boring. You should see me when hell's breaking loose. <laughs> I'm so not boring then. <laughs>